I just finished eating a cookie. Mmm. Best cookies ever. Anyway, so um, my friend from work asked me to make a vest for his son. Um, for when they're out biking or for if they're out a little bit later, especially now in the winter that it's getting so dark at night. Um, so I got this piece of reflective fabric from, and wow, it looks really reflective in the video here. So it's awesome. Shiny! Um, from Dresso, they had this stuff. So I got one in silver and I got one in pink for, I'm going to make one for Chloe, I think. And 20 centimeters is the smallest denomination of fabric that you can get. So this is really shiny and I decided since uh, my friend is a really huge football fan um, and actually the son is named after um, a footballer apparently and by football I mean soccer because we've actually stopped talking about football at work as American football or we make the distinction it's like oh you mean American football and I'm like yes American football so yeah, um, we're making the distinction now between American and regular football, which is football. Um, anyway, he's a huge footballer, kids named after a footballer, etc. so forth. I decided I was going to make it kind of like a football jersey. So I put his name, so I printed off some letters in just big chunky letters as big as I could make them. And then I cut them out and put them onto just a plain fabric. And then I basted that fabric onto the back of the shiny fabric because I'm not sure if it would iron and I'm not sure if I could put interfacing onto the um, stuff because it's kind of like really weird spandex. It gets stretchy. So I didn't know if it was gonna work. So I didn't wanna wreck because it's 19.99 a meter and only about 20 centimeters wide. It's a huge long piece though, it's the full, I don't know how long the rolls are, but it's a full roll long. So anyway, and then I, I sewed these ones, just used a basing stitch onto the fabric, and then cut out around these ones. And that works pretty good, I think. So I'm just sewing down on the vest that I got. Also I get this vest at Dresso for 10 cents. So I don't even care that it's the ugliest vest in the whole world. Um, it's 10 cents. So it's like a little um, denim vest, which had on the one shoulder, it had uh, two pieces of Velcro. So what I did was I cut open along the one seam along down here of the um, vest so that it's actually like something you sort of just put on over top of your clothes and wear it while you're biking or doing whatever so I'm just finishing up I've already sewed on three of the four letters um, so I'm just gonna try and do this on live on YouTube I'm using a really small stitch for this because oh, Um, I want it to be relatively tight and hold it down pretty well. Um, it seems like the fabric itself is pretty self-healing along its edges, so when I cut it, it doesn't seem to want to fray, which is good. Um, I'm kind of thinking, I'm doing a, a, just a straight stitch. I'm kind of thinking of going back over it in a zigzag along the edges so that I can be like really super confident that it's going to stay down. Um, there's a lot of turning because it's an M so I'm going to have to 
what's going on? There we go. Um, so yeah, basically you're just having a really lazy Saturday morning. Um, I woke up at 6.49 this morning, so I think I'm going to go buy a ticket for the lot to own. It's just a very random time for me to wake up, so. The one thing about this fabric is that it, the edges of it really roll up. So it's really hard to like hold it down and make it flat when I'm sewing on it, which is really annoying actually, but um, the one negative thing is I have no idea what the child's number is for his soccer team, so I'm not going to be able to finish this this weekend. I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to call him and ask him. I think I'll just wait until Monday and find out what it is. And then, um, and I totally pinned this wrong. I'm such a crazy person. Anyway, I'm going to find out what his uh, number is on Monday and then just add that to the bottom of the jacket so that it's more of a real sports type thing. And I know it's supposed to be last names, but his last name is really long and it would have taken him way too much space, so um, I just decided to use his first name. And it's not perfect, but it's pretty good, I think. And basically all it really needs to be is some sort of patch on the back of this jacket so that um, while they're outside, they'll be able to see hopefully there'll be a little bit more visibility and actually I'm really freaked out because my neighborhood which I consider to be very safe um, some crazy person hit a pedestrian the other day and one man is dead and the two other people who were hit suffered injuries but they're fine well, except for that the woman, the one woman is the wife of the guy who died, so she's probably not fine. Um, but, just freaked me out, because I consider my neighborhood to be very safe, and I've had the argument with my mother-in-law about, um, driving in my neighborhood, and how really my neighborhood is a neighborhood, even though the street is really quite a large street. And she has to understand that, no, it's, I mean, people live here, right? It's not like downtown or, well, even downtown, people live downtown. There's not as many apartment buildings in the core, but at the same time, there are people who live down there. And I don't think that people in cars really understand that. Um, and I don't understand why they don't understand that, because they live somewhere too, right? So they should have sort of an understanding of, oh yeah, maybe yeah, I should always be paying attention. But I guess that's naive, because accidents happen and people get hurt. Anyway, what have I done to my thread here? So that's all done. Um, I'll just show you. So it is very reflective, at least in this, so that's good. I'm happy about that. So Liam is my friend's kid, and he's going to have this vest. This vest is pretty awesome. Ten cents a dress, so I really, I was like, oh, I have to make a safety vest. And there's this handy-dandy vest, and I was like, oh. It's really weird. It's kind of very 80s. Um, I cannot, I don't understand what's wrong with me. I can't figure out the directions and the camera thing. Anyway, so it's really, I don't know, I might put like a star or something on the front, or maybe another number on the front. Um, so that's Liam's brand new vest, and see it has in the corner the Velcro, and then I opened up this edge, and then just hemmed it so that it wouldn't fray. But yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. Very clever. Liam. So yeah, I might... I don't know what I'm going to do with the A, because I didn't really want to cut out, but actually from here it looks fine. That was cool. Alright. Um, 